By now, everyone knows that Starlink can give you satellite internet anywhere, but the box I'm holding is completely different. This is Starlink Mini. It is a self-contained tiny device that can give you that same internet anywhere you go. You could even power it using something like a cordless drill battery. Now I'm gonna do a number of tests and really try this thing out in the field, but it all begins with the initial kit that you can purchase. Inside this box, you'll receive the main Starlink dish. There is no separate router because the router is built inside this single unit. On the back of the device is this folding stand that works quite well if you're putting it on something like a tabletop but it can be easily removed, and they also include this pole adapter. Now they do include this AC to DC adapter in the box that will correctly power the unit, but here is a major advantage of Starlink Mini. It can be powered using DC current anywhere from 12 volts to 60 volts. That opens up a huge amount of possibilities, running it from things like car batteries, all the way up to higher end gear that you might be using to power something else. As I mentioned, there is a built-in router and it's full featured. It gives you Wi-Fi, controls the device along with things like filtering, but there are two ports on the back of Starlink Mini. Now the first is used for your DC power supply, but the next one is covered by this plug. Once you remove it, this thing actually has a built-in ethernet port. Now that is pretty unusual because the main Starlink system only has that as an accessory. And this is a real ethernet port. It's not designed for something like internal communication and you can plug a regular cable in or at least almost. If your ethernet cable has one of these strain reliefs, you will need to cut it just to get that plug all the way in. But I really don't recommend doing this unless you have no other choice because once it goes in the port and that tab connects in, you won't be able to release it without using a type of flathead screwdriver and then you can pull the cable out. Starlink does offer a cable that will also maintain the waterproof abilities of this device because Starlink Mini is completely weatherproof provided you're using their cables. Now there was conflicting information online whether or not this Ethernet port could handle power over Ethernet to run the Starlink Mini. So I did connect up a standard power over Ethernet adapter and plugged it into the port but unfortunately this was not successful. It did not work for me and I wasn't able to power it up. Another clever feature is once you've got those cables plugged in, if you want to put the stand back on, you don't even have to remove them because they've got a kind of cut out so that the cables slip right in. They include a 30 foot cable in the box for the power needs for the device. And you can see the end of this cable has two weatherproofing rings, so once it's inserted, this will maintain a completely weather type connection. This ethernet port can be connected directly to a computer or a router. You can switch it to bypass mode, which basically eliminates any internal routing and moves those functions to your external router. And here is the proper Starlink cable. This is pretty unique. It can plug into the port with those weather sealing rings, but if you just give it a tug, it automatically unplugs and you don't have to mess with getting that little tab undone. Starlink Mini is designed to be a kind of grab-and-go internet solution that you can take anywhere. So as such, they can't fit a motorized mount, of course, into that device. So once you set it up, it might not be pointing correctly at the right satellites. It's actually going to do a check, and it will tell you precisely how to turn the dish. Now, I didn't think this feature would really work, or it would be cumbersome and not fast enough, but instead this app actually works perfectly. Now, you don't need to know much of anything. Just spin it in the direction that the app shows you. Once it's done correctly, the app will tell you to stop, it will do another check and make sure the dish is perfectly aligned. Power consumption is always a big concern. Unfortunately, this small dish does not use a lot of electricity. By powering this through my EcoFlow with the AC adapter, I only saw it drawing between 20 and about 50 watts maximum. Now I could use the built-in Starlink speed test app, but sometimes that thing is kind of flaky and I want to make sure that this is just a standard user type test, meaning I want to test the speed that I would actually get just using my device. So I'll be using the speedtest.net app right from my phone wirelessly. And as you can see, I got about 124 meg down with 15 meg up. I then repeated that same test on my laptop with a wireless connection and I got around 93 meg down and around 14 meg up. Now I'm going to do that same speed test using only the built-in Ethernet port. Now generally this will give a pretty large speed increase, but you've got to remember the testing on satellite can vary widely. When I ran the test the first time, I got 121 meg down with 19 up, so that was only a small speed increase on the upload. So I repeated the test again, and this time the results were actually worse. And you might be thinking, well who cares, I'll never use Ethernet, I'll just stick with the wireless connection. Now that is fine if you're really close to the router, but if you're going to be a little bit of a distance away, I would highly recommend using the Ethernet connection. But now it was time to really try this device out in a way that you would normally use it. 
Now again, remember, Starlink Mini is designed for true off-grid connections where you want a tiny device and you're probably only using it in a really short-term basis. Here I'm using my two-wheel drive electric UBCO to get me down in my pond and I don't have any type of cellular connection or even Wi-Fi down here, but you could easily use this thing on top of a mountain, in the middle of a desert, anywhere that you want an internet connection that you can't really get it any other way. Now for power, this is where I'm going to use this Milwaukee drill battery combined with this mount on top of the motorcycle to hold the antenna. Setting this thing up is really easy. Now on the motorcycle, I'm using this thing called a ram mount to hold it securely, but the other benefit is once it's powered up, if I need to align it, I can simply rotate it by loosening the clamp on the antenna mount. So with this tiny dish that fit inside of a laptop case, within five minutes I was on the internet, the dish was aligned properly, and I was getting over 135 meg down and 13 meg up. Now keep in mind, I'm connecting to this dish wirelessly using my iPhone from now about 30 feet away. So those are pretty impressive speeds considering I'm not even using any other equipment. And the whole thing is being powered off a cordless drill battery and I could run the Starlink dish for about six hours using that small battery. And now for the most important part, the price. First, you've got to buy the hardware, and they're currently selling it for $599, and that is that whole kit with the cables and the power supply. The monthly plan is a bargain at just $30 a month, but there is a catch. You've got to already be a Starlink user. On top of that $30 a month, they're only giving you 50 gig of data transfer. Now you can go over it at a dollar more per gig, now before you say this is a total ripoff, when they introduce something new, they generally price it much higher than it will eventually be sold to most people. So I think this Starlink Mini is actually going to change in about six months where they may reduce the price of the hardware, but most importantly, I think they will bring the monthly price of the data plan down and probably offer it as a standalone plan as well. Now old style satellite connections could cost you three to $400 a month and they may only give you one to five gig. But I personally think if they want this thing to succeed, they have got to completely change that plan, maybe giving you unlimited data. I have been using this for a couple of weeks. So I've learned a lot about it, but most importantly, it does work and it's very stable. And I think the features in it are actually pretty impressive. I just want to see that price come down and offer a lot more data transfer so that people could use this in many other ways. But if you've got thoughts to share or questions about the Starlink Mini, I'd be glad to try to answer them in the comments below. And please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.